What's up, Iron Gang? It's your boy Chris back at you again. Um, I told you guys on the last couple videos I was going to do a review um, of my week in fitness. Um, so basically, let's let's get into it. Um, I told you guys that I started out this week in the morning times doing cardio, um, which worked out pretty well. Evening, afternoon times, I was doing my weight training, which also worked out pretty well. Uh, I also got also told you guys I adjusted my nutrition. Um, so um, basically, what I did, I cut out all carbs throughout the week, uh, with exception of complex carbs. So I was eating broccoli, raw broccoli. Um, that was to supplement my carbohydrate intake. And let me tell you guys, that was torture. I tortured myself damn near to death to do that. Uh, how that worked out for me was in the morning times I was straight. I go in, do my cardio, burn at least 500 calories, go to work, take my post-workout uh, protein shake. Um, uh, mid mid snack would be a uh, fruit smoothie. Um, after that, go home. And at that point, um, when I would go home, by that time I would have a headache. I would be super tired. And so I would get to the house. I crash, take a nap wake up, go to the gym, do my weight training, come back home, eat dinner, which was consisted of mostly protein, some veggies, um, go to bed and could not sleep. So basically I was going to work, sleep deprived. Actually I was going to the gym in the morning, sleep deprived. I knock out my 500 calories, go into work and the process will start all over again. So what happened, right? What this was supposed to be the weekend fitness where I alter my routine, also my meal plan, and things were supposed to work. Well, first of all, um, the whole point of, of it all was to see where I was at um, in terms of weight loss. So I told you guys I was at 144. I lost two pounds. I got to 142 by the end of the week. Actually, it was Thursday. Uh, yesterday, actually today, I weighed in. I was 144. Um, so it was kind of a yo-yo balance thing. Um, so, um, needless to say, did it work? I think it did. Uh, if anything, I probably lost more inches off of my body, um, than I did, uh, fat, which is ten, ten more, more so the case when you're, you're losing weight and, and going into fat loss or whatever. Um, so... What do I plan on doing to alter that? Well, basically next week I will be incorporating carbohydrates into my, my meal plan. Uh, not a whole lot. Um, I'll stick with uh, complex carbs. Uh, I'll probably be eating more vegetables, not raw. Um, probably a lot more baked sweet potatoes and, and things of that nature. And um, heavily on the lean protein. Uh, probably be more meals a day. Again, my caloric intake probably was between 1,500 to 2,000 calories. Remind, mind you, I sent myself into a caloric deficiency throughout the week of 500 calories on the treadmill per day. Um, I didn't do cardio uh, every day this week. I had to be at work super early. Um, so I wasn't able to get one of my cardio trainings in. But I burnt a total of about 2,000 calories this week. Um, so... Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's the difference. That's the difference. That's the change. Um, which brings me to my next topic, May, won't, brings me to segue into my next topic. Um, my nutrition, my macro nutrient, nutrient, my macro nutrition. Um, I told you guys how to check your macro nutrients online from the last video. Um, I'm not going to go too, too deep into that. Um, because I'm going to send you guys to another video of, of a guy, a good friend of mine on Facebook. I met this guy uh, about five, six years ago uh, at the Greenbrier Mall in Chesapeake, Virginia. He was in the Navy at the time. I think his side hustle was uh, multi-level marketing for Amway Global. And um, I had no interest in in what he was selling. But the guy was very respectful. Um, he had a good conversation about himself. Um, and he was, he, he presented himself in a very good light. And I think we kind of traded information and I ended up being friends with him on Facebook. And so, um, I think we kept in contact off and on. Uh, he got out of the Navy, uh, 
I don't know what he did after that, but eventually he got into fitness and became a certified personal trainer. Needless to say, the guy is probably in better shape now than he was in the Navy. He's promoting that, and he's promoting his business. His name is Vincent Rose. Um, he runs his own personal training business called uh, H2G Fitness. There will be a link uh, in the description to the video that I'm about to mention, and there's also a link on this screen. So if you're tired of listening to me talk, you just want to hear somebody tell you uh, about nutrition and calorie cutting and carbs and why it's a bad idea, then um, go ahead and click on that, that link on the screen right now. If you want to hear me talk a little bit more about what Vincent is talking about, and then go check out his video. That's also legit. So anyway, um, Vince posted a video today about um, uh, the the no-nos in, in nutri nutrition. Nutrition no-nos. I'm saying that all wrong. Um, let me find a title to this video real quick, and I'll, I'll let you guys know exactly what it is. Actually, it's the two biggest dieting mistakes. That's what his uh, video was about. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was a coincidence that um, he would post that video today, that he would make that video and post it today because um, I think I made a lot of mistakes with uh, nutrition this week. Uh, for one, I way too less um, calories. Took in le way too much, too less calories this week. Three, I think I didn't drink nearly enough water as I should have. I drained myself of, of a good amount of water while I was at the gym every morning. Um, I was filling my stomach up with protein and smoothie, so I didn't have the urge to continue to drink water. That's going to change. I will have a gallon of water next week. I will try to accomplish a gallon a day um, and rest. I, I got to find a way to get some sleep at night. So those were some of the issues that I had and some of the adjustments that I feel like I got to make for next week. But anyway, back to the nutrition side. Um, Vince was talking about the two biggest mistakes people make in nutrition. And um, it, it's all backed up by science. So you can go to uh, go online, look at some articles, do your own research, and, and find out about this stuff. Um, it's all scientifically backed. It's all um, resource uh, accredited, credential resource backed. So you can listen to what Vince is saying, and then you can look up the information for yourself and find out that what he's talking about is true. Uh, basically, he's talking about the effects of your nutrition on your metabolism. So. Um, well, not just your nutrition on your metabolism, but your nutrition, your caloric intake, your caloric deficiency on your metabolism. So basically, you're trying to outsmart your, your metabolism and and basically burn more fat. What happens is um, the less calories you take in, let's say you get yourself down, the recommended daily caloric intake is 2,000 to 2,200 calories. Um, let's say you cut that down in half by 1,000. So you're taking in 1,000 calories a day. And let's say you're doing cardio every day and you're burning anywhere between six to 700 calories a day. So that's putting you at a deficit of about, what, what seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. That's about 300 calories. Basically, your uh, metabolism stalls out at that level. So you start noticing a lot of fat loss, a lot of weight loss, losses in inches um, on your body. But then you continue to do that thinking that you're going to continue to lose weight, and then you don't. You hit a plateau mark. Well, basically what's happening is, and Vince can explain this a little bit better in his video, is you're, you've reached a level where your metabolism caught up to your new habit, and it's saying, all right, well, this is the new standard for your body. The standard isn't the 2,000 to 2,200. Uh, caloric intake anymore. The new standard is 1,000 with a deficiency of about six to 700. Um, so you either need to continue this to maintain this weight or anything you eat over 1,000 calories is going to cause you to gain more weight. So you can go between 1,000 to 1,500 calories in the course of five days a week and then put the weight on like that and be wondering, why the fuck did I put this weight on so fast? That's because you you jacked up your metabolism, and Vince talks about that. Um, he gives you tips on how to uh, avoid that, 
and um, how to kind of manage your caloric intake with um, your cardio training and your weight training in, in the video that I'm going to send you guys to. So again, check out Vince's video. Um, he's very knowledgeable, very informed. We have a lot of helpful tips. Guy's been at it for a while. Um, I believe he has a link to his Facebook page, so you can check him out. He's all business related in terms of fitness. Remember, H2G Fitness. He is a CPT certified personal trainer. He does do online coaching. Um, I myself am not a fan of online coaching because I, don't, I just don't want to spend the money. I think I can kind of do it myself. If I ever get to the point where I feel like I can't do it myself, I will consider that. Uh, again, that's not a knock against Vince or anybody else who does uh, online fitness coaching or fitness training or personal training online. Again, I'm shooting the plug, sending you guys to him. If you're interested in that, he's a very good guy for that. He gets results. He posts uh, like Chris Jones. I told you guys about Chris Jones. Um, he posts results of his clients online and, you know, they have, uh, amazing transformation. So again, check Vince out. Um, if you like this video, um, hit the like button, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave comments at the bottom. Uh, there will be a link on the screen to Vince's video. There will be a link in the description box to Vince's video. Uh, some things to look out for, uh, Later on this week, maybe, uh, a training video of myself in the gym. Hopefully, we can get that done. I plan on doing a protein shake recipe video showing you guys some of the stuff that I use to make up my post-workout uh, protein shakes and more content. So, all my iron gang out there, keep on banging that iron. Remember, it's man against the metal. Um Work hard to try to get your banger card. I haven't talked about banger cards yet, but I will be talking about iron banger cards. Um, so look out for that. And, yeah, continue on with your fitness journey. Let's motivate each other. Let's push. Talk to y'all later. I'm out.